I'm thankful it was leaked. I think that in the end it could help our case, it could help um, prevent something disastrous for our country. So my concern really isn't hunting down who leaked it. My concern is making sure that this does not go through. It wasn't the leaker's place to release that document. That is the responsibility of the justices, which have been voted on, uh, confirmed, placed in those positions. It was a great upset in authority, and I believe that there does need to be strict repercussions on the leaker. Yeah, so there's a lot that we don't know about exactly what happened here or how this draft document made its way uh, to Politico and, and out to the general public. Um, but we do know that th this is something that's being taken extremely seriously by the court. The Chief Justice of the Supreme Court has ordered an investigation, ordered the Marshal of the Supreme Court to conduct that investigation to try to figure out uh, exactly how this happened. It's important to remember that this is nearly unprecedented. It's, uh, the Supreme Court as an institution uh, relies on this level of secrecy, on the level of trust within the court, both with justices, clerks, and judicial staff to ensure that something like this doesn't happen. So there's a dispute over whether or not there actually is a federal crime that was committed. The key section of law here that is debated is a section of law that deals with the theft of government property. And generally, under Justice Department guidelines, the theft of government property by someone who generally has access to it and is disseminating it for information to the public is not a prosecutable crime under, under DOJ guidelines. The Justice Department has taken really big strides to ensure that seizure of journalist records are being curtailed in the last few years, particularly after an uptick in the Trump administration. Uh, Attorney General Merrick Garland had ordered uh, federal prosecutors not to use compulsory process, so subpoenas or warrants to obtain information specifically from journalists and leak investigations, uh, and generally those happen in leaks of classified information, which obviously is not the case here. But it's important to note that the marshal of the court reports directly to the court and not the executive branch. So those traditional guardrails that we're talking about that are in place in the executive branch with the Justice Department and the Attorney General likely don't apply here.